Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I will be covering the most anticipated movies that are coming out for the rest of 2023. Last voyage of the Demeter, in this history of cinema, Dracula has played a significant part as the stories surrounding the iconic beasts are a testament to how far we've come in creating several engaging movies. The Last Voyage of the Demeter is an upcoming supernatural horror film based on the 1897 novel Dracula by Bram Stoker and adapts the chapter The Captain's Law, which is considered one of the most tragic and horrifying arcs. The film takes place on a ship known as the Demeter, details the event of the Doom crew who were hunted by a terrifying beast every night on board. Elevator Game is one of the most talked about urgent legends in Korea and it has recently became a TikTok sensation. Like the Spirit Game which used to be a source of test and eye courage when we were youngsters, this has become a norm as well as a terrifying experience for many people. Based on real life rumors, the movie follows a group of attention seeking friends who try to attempt the elevator game and upload it on social media, but things go awry when they play the game wrong. A dreadful presence begins stalking each member of the group and in order to get rid of it, they must finish the game properly, which is far more horrifying than it sounds. Dracula Untold Director Gary Shore has a new horror film called The Queen Mary, a psychological horror film that was produced by their Tantula ship. The mysterious and violent events surrounded one family's voyage on Halloween night in 1938 and how their destiny links up with another family onboarding the ocean liner in into the present day. The Queen Mary, now on anchor of Long Beach, California, was once a luxury ocean liner and a favorite mode of transporting for generations of the rich and famous. All that seaborne rivalry has established a reputation for the Queen's Mary as one of the world's most haunted places. The Conjuring Universe has a little something for almost everyone and now is back with The Nun 2. The sequel will fast forward four years after the 2018's The Nun and it will focus on Sister Irene dealing with demon Valak. Sister Irene as she once again comes face to face with the demon. A Hunter and Vences inspires the novel Halloween's Party. A Hunter and Vences is set in eerie post-World War II, Venice, and All the Hallows' Eve in its terrifying mystery featuring the return of the celebrating sloth of Hercule Pirate. Now retired and living in self-imposed exile in the world's most glamorous city, reluctantly attends a seance at a decaying hunting plateau. When one of the guests is murdered, the detective is thus into a sinister world of shadows and secrets. It Lives Inside, this film is about a girl named Sam who rejects her Eastern Indian culture and family to be like everyone else. However, when a mythological demon spirit latches onto her former best friend, she must come to terms with her heritage to defeat it. Back in 2017, Netflix released Veronica, a Spanish horror film directed by Paco Plaza that still tops the list as one of the service's most scariest films. Now Plaza is now taking us back into a dark supernatural world with a prequel called Sister's Death, who teases trailer has just been unleashed. Sister Death set in post-war Spain, a young novice with supernatural powers, arrives at a former convent, now a school for girls, to become a teacher. As the days to go by, the strange events and increasingly disturbing situations that torment her will eventually lead her to unreveal the terrible skin of secrets that surrounded the convent and haunt inhabitants. The Exorcist The Believer, this film is about two girls named Angela and Catherine. They show signs of a demonic possession and unleash a chain of events that forces single father Victor Fielding to confront the evil. Terrifying and desperate, he seeks out Chris McNeil, the only person alive who witnessed anything like this before. The first omen is the pre of the 1976 classic, has gone through more than a few changes and revisions since it was first announced back in 2016. But filming has finally been completed and will hopefully it will be out very soon this year.
Pet Cemetery Bloodline served as a prequel to the events that took place in 2019. Set in 1969, 50 years before the events of Pet Cemetery happened, the movie is centered on a young Judd Crandall who dreams of leaving his hometown of Maine behind, but soon discovers sinister secrets buried within. Judd is forced to confront a dark family history that will forever keep him connected to Maine. Saw X is back and this time they brought back John Kramer. He travels to Mexico for a risky and experimental medical procedure only to discover the entry, the entire operation is a scam to defraud the most vulnerable. Armed with a newfound purpose, the infamous serial killer uses deranged and adjusts traps to turn the tables on the con artist. The movie is set in Plymouth, Massachusetts. This movie is called Thanksgiving which is directed by Eli Roth. This one is about the table is set, the festivals has begun, but his uninvited guest has arrived, and this year there will be no leftovers when a serial killer set his sights on the residents of the town. He's determined to kill as many of them as possible. The big question is, why? What is about Thanksgiving that sets the killer off? So this is all I have for the most anticipated movies that will be coming out this year. Hopefully the first Omen will come out. This one sounds a little bit interesting, so I'm looking forward to that. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe, and until then, see you later.